would you house Ill- illegal immigrants in your house, on your property? Would you do that? I think most of us would. And maybe that makes me a bad guy. Maybe that makes me somebody that isn't going to heaven. My whole life's goal is to get to heaven. I don't know if I got a shot. I don't know if I don't have a shot. I got no idea, right? But that's my goal. So here's the deal. Here's the simple deal. Would you house? State of Massachusetts is now asking families to house illegal immigrants. That's what they want you to do as a taxpayer in the university, or excuse me, in Massachusetts. They want you, ladies and gentlemen, to house illegal immigrants. No, let me give you a better thing. Get rid of illegal immigrants. Let illegal immigrants come in legally. How about we do that? That seems, oh my God, that seems foreign to me. Hey, uh, double dizzle. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what can I do for you? We want you to house illegal immigrants. You want me to do what now? Like live in my house with my son and daughter? Okay, here's the deal. Here's what I would say. Before I even consider this, give me the background on this particular person. Well, we don't know. We, we, we don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You want this person to come into my house where I've got kids living, where I've got a wife, where I've got a family, and I've heard all these horror stories about prisons in Peru and other places, China, uh, sending their criminals across the border, and you want me to house these folks without you telling me who they are, without vetting them. Really? That's what you want? I, I don't think so. No, I, 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 don't, I don't think that's what we're going to do here. What should really happen is this. If you voted for Joe Biden, and of course we have the roles, you house illegal immigrants. You. And by the way, last I looked, President Obama has a $12 million mansion. Joe Biden has two $5 million houses. How about sign up for it? What? what? Why, why don't we do that? The great sanctuary state of Massachusetts, the original. Bring us your poor, your tired, bring them all. Uh, I don't know. The governor, this is on August 8th, a couple days ago, declared, declared a state of emergency. A state of emergency, Governor Healy? In a sanctuary state? What are you talking about? She cited the influx of migrants seeking shelter at a time when the cost of housing in short supply continues to rise. There are nearly, listen to this, 5,600 families or more than 20,000 people, many of whom are migrants currently living in state shelters, including infants, young children, pregnant women. This is up. From around 3,100 families a year ago, it's an 80% increase. Well, wait a second. If you call yourself a sanctuary city, be a sanctuary city. Uh, I don't know. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, and I think this is exactly what should happen. 84 million people voted for Joe Biden, allegedly. Get those 84 million people and match them up. Match him up with a family. Help. I think my neighbor here. No, I don't want that. No, hell no. No, no, never mind. Ixnay. Ixnay on the neighbor. No, no, no. I mean, I don't know. It kind of seems like eh, Maybe that's what should happen. Will it? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. But should it? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Of course it should. You and I both know that. You and I both know that that's exactly what should happen. You voted for this crap. And oh, by the way, another $24 billion, billion of our money, yours and mine, is being sent, or at least asked by Joe Biden, another $24 billion is being asked to head on over to not, not the border, 
Not the fentanyl crisis. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. To the Ukraine. To fight a war. Where I've seen pictures of everybody hanging out on beaches. Look, Massachusetts, we go back to that, has a population of 7 million. They're declaring a state of emergency over 20,000 immigrants. Brownsville, Texas has a population of under 10, excuse me, 187,000. They've encountered 50, 15,000 migrants in one week. Oh, poor Massachusetts. All right. Okay. Consider hosting. An illegal immigrant in your house. Let me consider. No. That's as much as I'm considering. It's like I wouldn't let Greg Doyle, the writer for the Indy Star, who was a friend of mine, stay at my house when I got divorced. He was moving to Indy. I originally said, hey, why don't you just stay at my house for a few days? Get yourself squared away. Then I heard, he told me, of all of the affairs he was having with women. He put in an article that he was having an affair and we were talking about a woman in Charlotte. I didn't know about a woman in Charlotte. I knew about an ESPN reporter. I knew about his neighbor. I knew about uh, him stalking his words, not mine. Uh, His coworker at her church on a Sunday, he called me. So I said, "Eh, no, you know what? I got a young daughter here. I got an 18 year old daughter going through a divorce. Eh, She doesn't need some strange dude that doesn't apparently have great morals. He doesn't really need him in our house. Doesn't really need him. So I wouldn't let that guy live at my house. Do you think I'm about to let an illegal immigrant that I got no idea? Has he murdered six people? Why does he want to come over? Is he a dreamer? Is he a killer? Is he a robber? Is he a rapist? Not a chance in holy hell am I allowing it. Hell, I wouldn't let Doyle. No chance I'm allowing These other folks. The world's nuts. 